Welcome and thank you for joining us. We are excited to introduce to you a brand new student-led show where LISD Superintendent Dr. Waddell visits with students to discuss and get important perspectives about important topics in education. First, before we get started, I'd like to introduce to you Dr. Waddell. So Dr. Waddell, thank you for being here. And would you like to say a few words before we get started? Yes, thank you, Ms. Permetti. I just want to uh, welcome the students here and thank them for coming. I've been very excited about this chance to talk to them today, so I know it's going to be enjoyable. Well, we are excited to have you, and most importantly, we're honored to have several LISD fifth graders with us as part of our first episode. And these students have come up with their own questions they would like to ask our superintendent of schools. So before we get started, I want to have each student introduce themselves. So let's get started with you, Ms. Scout. Please say your name and what grade you're in and what school you attend. I am Scout Villarreal and I go to Stewart's Creek Elementary. Thank you for being here, Scout. I'm Rhea Gupta. I'm in fifth grade and I go to Independence Elementary. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Oscar Salsa. I go to Central Elementary and I'm in fifth grade. Welcome, I'm so glad you're here, Oscar. My name is Caroline Hergenrether. I'm in the fifth grade. I go to Flyermont Element, and I go to Flyermont Elementary. Thank you, and well, we're so glad to have you. My name is Nicole Acosta, and I attend Garden Ridge Elementary, and I'm in the fifth grade. Nicole, thank you for being here. And Nicole, how would you like to get us started with your three questions? Um, Dr. Waddell, do you like working in LISD? I like working in LISD quite a bit. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I have really enjoyed the people here. Uh, it's a great area and uh, you know it's just been a, a really uh, really enjoyable time. I'm not quite sure Miss Permetti how long I've been here. I think it's eight months but they've been eight good months. What do you like to do in your spare time? Hmm. I like sports. Um, I like uh, outdoors. I love to hike. Uh, I like to uh, bicycle <clears throat> and uh, I enjoy traveling so uh, and one thing I really like to do a lot is read so I love to read and finally what did you why did you become an educator uh, I think the first thing that attracted me to education is is that I could do what I like to do the most which is learn and uh, but after I became an educator I think um, the thing I really love the most about it now is uh, I, I love being around kids. But I, I think initially I just, I just enjoyed learning. I like to read um, and uh, learn new things and what better place to do that than being in education. Thank you. You're welcome. Caroline, would you like to ask your questions? Yes. My favorite subject is math. What was your favorite subject when you were in the fifth grade? It was reading and history. And I'm so happy it's math for you. Uh, that wasn't my favorite subject uh, when I was uh, in uh, elementary school. Uh, and, I w and I wish that uh, it had been because I've learned how important math is. I'm, I'm always uh, a little envious of, of kids who, and, and I think, wow, how great when math is their, they say math's their favorite subject. It seems like when you're a student, it's either, you either like history and, and reading is your favorite and not math and science or it's math and science and not so much history or social studies and, and reading, but it's kind of funny when I was in second grade, uh, um, I, uh, my teacher caught me uh, during math class. Uh, I had my math book out, but inside of it I had my reading book and I was reading and she caught me on that. So I got in a little bit of trouble, uh, but uh, I've learned to love math and uh, uh, I like math a lot, but still history is my, is my favorite subject. Okay. I want to be a teacher when I grow up. Do you have any advice for me? Um, maybe the most important thing is, is to know that you're going to love children. Um, that's the reason to be in this job. Uh, it doesn't matter what you teach, but it does matter that you care about kids. So uh, I hope you keep that desire because teaching is a wonderful job. But when you get to that point and, and you become one, then the most important thing is to really care about children. Okay. <coughs> Why are we taking the STAR test instead of, instead of the tax test this year? Well, I could probably give you several answers for that, but uh, um, the state of Texas decides what tests uh, to take. 
they've they've uh, changed that over the years. Honestly, um, uh, I think they uh, the thinking on that is they look for tests that uh, are more rigorous and do a better job of showing us, uh, you know, how students have learned. So they've decided to make that switch. The last test was in uh, the we we started doing the tax test in 2003. So it's always an adjustment any time and and it will be again, but uh, just like we've done well on the previous test, I'm sure we'll do well on this one, even though it takes a little time to, uh, to adjust to it and get used to it. Thank you. You're welcome. Oscar, would you like to ask your questions? Yes. What do you think is best for all students to achieve? That's a good, that's an excellent question, Oscar. Um, we could talk about that for a long, long time. Believe in yourself and give it a try. You, you'll be surprised what, what you learn you can do. So I think that uh, learn how to, uh, if, every, if every young person could, could believe in themselves and learn how important it is to do your best and, and not be afraid to make mistakes, uh, to always keep trying and not give up easily, uh, I think no matter what it is that you do, uh, you'll be okay. Uh, having faith in yourself and having hope uh, and, and working hard will, will never fail you. Thank you. What, what is your favorite food? I love seafood and I love Italian food. I love any kind of food. I'm really not picky. Uh, but I think the best way to answer that question is to think, what would you miss if you moved? Uh, is there something that you just couldn't do without? And uh, my daughter grew up in Texas and she moved to the state of Washington. And what she misses the most is Mexican food. And I think for any true Texan, the thing that they could have the heart, that would be the hardest to live without is really good Tex-Mex. And what would you do without good hot sauce? So I think I'd say Mexican food is my favorite. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you like sports? If so, which one? I think my favorite professional sport maybe has got to be baseball. There's just there is something about baseball and its history and traditions and legends. Um, but I like other sports too. I, I've, I've enjoyed playing golf and tennis. And Sports are important to people and they're important to me. I like to play them and I like to watch them and I think they make a nice balance in, in one's life. Thank you. Rhea, how would you like to ask your questions? Okay. What kind of books do you like to read? Um, I'm going to answer that question, but I just noticed you're wearing a red ribbon. What's that? Um, at our school, we have a drug-free week. Yeah. And this ribbon we get every year, it just um, says that I have better things to do than that. That is wonderful. Well, I'm so happy you're wearing that, and thanks for explaining that. Um, so, you asked me, what books do I like to read? I read a lot of history, and uh, I, I like, I'm always reading novels. Uh, I, I read professional books. I love poetry, so I have a lot of poetry in my collection at home, and, and I, I like to write poetry a little bit, mm -hmm. too. Reading's always been a huge part of my life. I read everything. Okay. Do you have a hobby? <clears throat> I mentioned poetry. That's kind of a hobby of mine, and once again, getting outdoors, one of my favorite places is the Big Bend. It's a national park in far west Texas. I go there at least once a year, and sometimes two or three. love to hike. Um, I like gardening, uh, reading, I mentioned, bicycling, and uh, I also like to motorcycle. So uh, I have a number of hobbies. I think, I think people need to have different things to do. I think it, uh, it's good for them to have different hobbies. My last question is, what is your favorite part of your job? Um, you. I've uh, become more and more aware as I've worked that you know, being with kids, being around kids, it's, it's the best part. There's no question about it. There's many good things about my job. I feel like it's a, a worthwhile job. I get to do things that impact a lot of people. And so I feel really satisfied. But the thing that I clearly love the best about it is it's about kids, and I love to be with kids. Doing this right now, uh, all day long I've, lo I've looked forward to this. this. This is being with children and around children is the... Uh, whether they're high school kids, and I'm, all, I'm old enough to call high school kids children if I want to. Uh, high school kids or elementary kids, everyone in between, it's the best part. Thank you. Scout, what are your questions? 
What was your job before you became um, before you became LISD superintendent? I've been a superintendent for 16 years in four different districts. Each one's been a little bigger. Um, and uh, so, uh, and then before that, I was a high school principal. And before that, I was an elementary principal. And before that, I was a middle school assistant principal. Uh, before that, I was a counselor in a high school. And, uh, and I was a high school English and history teacher. Uh, but that's, that's what I've done before I came here. What are your duties as a superintendent? Overall, I, I, I'm responsible for overseeing the, uh, uh, the, all, all, all the aspects of, of Louisville Independent School District, uh, making sure you all get a high quality education, uh, making sure we have the teachers that, that are needed and the principals that are needed and everyone else that you have in your school. And, um, it takes a lot of money to uh, run a, a district this big. Um, pretty big number. We spend about a, a half a billion dollars a year running this school. Wow. That's a lot of money. And uh, so um, I, I prepare the budget, make sure that that's all, all done properly. Uh, working with the community because, you know, you may not know this, but everywhere in the Louisville Independent School District, the people, the people of this district are concerned about you. They care about you. And they want to make sure that this, and they spend a lot of money making sure that you have a chance at a good education. So uh, um, they want to make sure things are going well in this district. And a group I work carefully with is called the Board of Trustees, and there's seven of them. They're elected by the voters in this district. And so they and I work together to plan and make sure things uh, go well here, go well for you. So anything you can think of that goes on in this school district uh, I play a part in that, and it's a big responsibility, but it's also fun, and uh, it's valuable. It's 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 something I I uh, I love to do. Why did you want to become a superintendent? I want to make a contribution to people, uh, people like you, uh, to the community, to our state and our nation, and I think it's a worth. I think the education of young people is a very important thing. Matter of fact, I would say it's the most important thing. I'm, I, I try to dedicate myself to making sure that you all, every one of you and all of your friends and back at your schools have, can be anything you want to be, that you have that opportunity. And being a superintendent gives me a chance to have an important role in seeing that that happens for you. So that's the reason. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a great last question. It was. S Scott, I so appreciate it, and all of your questions were just awesome, and I want to thank each one of you for your time, and thank you, Dr. Waddell, for coming, and thank you for watching, and we will see you next month.